So there are two situations we might recommend a patient have BRCA1 or BRCA2 testing. One would be if someone's diagnosed with breast cancer, if they're diagnosed at a young age, or um, if they have a family history of breast cancer or other related cancers, or if people have breast cancer and they're of Ashkenazi Jewish background. All of those have risks of having a BRCA1 or 2 mutation. The other family history we look at is history of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, pancreatic, and prostate cancer, because all of those can be related to the BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. Um, the other time is we will meet sometimes patients that don't have cancer themselves, but have those sort of cancers running in their family, um, and they are sometimes interested in testing even before they've had any kind of a cancer. If someone is interested in BRCA1 or 2 testing, we have them see the genetic counselor. They spend a good hour going through details of what these genes are and how they're inherited and what the implications are if someone has a mutation. And if at the end of that hour people want to have the testing done, they have either a blood test or a mouth swab sent. The results take about two weeks and uh, patients come in either in person or over the phone to get results to find out.